It is National Cookie Day. Da -da -da. And we've been snacking. Check those homemade cookies out right from the Alexa Christmopher made kitchen. them, right? No, I, I made them. Come on. <laughs> That's the one I bit well, yeah. right there. <laughs> why, why did you leave your half bitten cookie? I broke on it off my in plate. case somebody else wanted it. Okay. Nice job, though. There's marshmallows in there, raisins, yeah. chocolate chips, mm -hmm. macadamia nuts. You got it all. No, I know. Nicely done. It's all a little homemade concoction. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, so get your cookies today and enjoy them and don't feel guilty about it. This is a crazy fun fact we were talking about before the show, how, yep. how people eat their Oreos. Sure. 40% of Americans have eaten a whole row of Oreos in one sitting. I actually thought that was the serving size. Yeah, isn't that the normal like thing? No, row. yeah. Same with Girl Scout cookies. Right, yeah. Thin mints, not we'll the case. The, the whole cookie there. <laughs> All right, well. How do you eat an Oreo? Do you separate it or do you, you, you dunk? You break what it do you open? do? Leroy, right? You you twist it open, you, you get all the cream out, and then you put it back in. And then you dunk the two cookie sides, right? Do you dunk? No, we don't. We don't. I dunk. I, I don't know. She, she's a dunker, apparently. All right, how about some music news? Let's get into it. This is exciting. Uh, we're nearing the end of the year. So who do you think the biggest artist of the year has been so far in, in terms of streams, so streaming online? Well, your bromance. Drake. I, you uh, love him and you talk about him every opportunity no, no, that you I get. Do, so no, obviously that, this false, had to be the case. False accusations here. Okay, <laughs> but Drake tops uh, most people's lists here with more than 8 billion, 8 billion streams on Spotify. That's how, how many? many? Eight, 8 billion. Uh, he's also the most streamed artist of all time and the accolades don't stop there. His album from this year, Teresa's uh, favorite album, Scorpion, which was released in June, is the most streamed album of the year. So. What do you know about that? I, now that the year's over, can, can you finally get on the Drake train? Can you buy no, it? No, there's no say? denying he's a good artist. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Ariana Grande got it for a girl. Oh, and okay. And I like her. I like that new song, Thank God You is Next. A woman. Yeah. Oh, Thank oh, You Next. Well, that well, one's too. That one's good too. And she's coming to Mohegan Sun soon, I hear. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, get your tickets for that one. All right, so here's a throwback. Are you a fan of Hootie and the Blowfish? I don't want to be with you. <laughs> That's right? it. You've that, got it that's down. Song, okay, yeah. they're getting back together. Oh, exciting. The group is going to be on tour for the first time next year in more than a decade. They plan to make a stop in Hartford on August 31st, so make sure you check that show out. Hootie and the Blowfish debuted back in 1994 with one of their most popular albums of all time. Now, that's Darius Rucker right there, right? He's Who's the kind singer. of a country singer now, uh -huh. right? He turned country? Yeah, he, he had a very successful solo career. And back in the day when Hootie and, and the Blowfish were, were, were first coming out onto the scene, mm. my sister-in-law's sister, so, so basically like my sister-in-law's sister. sister, sister, sister oh, sure. Okay, got it. So she was out um, at this show in Connecticut. Somebody was performing and she's standing there at the bar and this guy comes up and says, hey, can I buy you a drink? And she's like, oh, no, thanks. Come to find out, it was Darius Rucker well, with Hootie and the Blowfish. taking that drink. Yeah. <laughs> Who turns that down? Uh, well, <laughs> you know? she, she, Dory does apparently, I guess. Oh, Dory. But, what so, are you thinking? Come on, Dory. All right, so if you are planning to take the train into New York this weekend, a lot of people are because it is the annual Santa Con Bar crawl. Uh huh. Leave your alcohol at home because uh, New York's annual Santa Con. Metro North is saying there's no alcohol for 24 hours because things get a little rowdy. So this is from noon on Saturday to noon on Sunday, and it's a pub crawl in the city. Of course, people are ju just dressed dressed up as and Santa, going crazy. Have, have you ever been? No, but my husband <clears throat> used to do it uh, routinely while he was in college in New York City. So. Is, is he going to do a throwback? Is he going to go back to Fordham? No, 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 we have children F now. Uh, <laughs> we'll said, not no, be doing that. Not happening. I he guess. would dress up too, like crazy, like really? green, like elf pants. And, right, well, you know well, he likes a costume. Well, that's true. <laughs> I, I I figured as much. Well, maybe we can get a photo of him in some green tights someday. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. All right.